my name is Caveman Brooks, but people also call me Cod, uh, or Seven Eighty Sound. My name is Zachary Sullivan, and I also go by Gold Rush. Uh, why the name Seven Eighty Sound? Well, the reason why I chose Gold Rush is it was kind of a kind of a joke. Because I know I'm going to make a million, and that first million, I'm going to get a big brick, big gold brick, and uh, get my name plated right across that. You know, gangsters in the States roll by area code, you know, 313, 818, stuff like that. And so uh, the greater northern Alberta area code is 780. Well, every track I make is solid gold, and uh, when people find out I'm playing, they always rush there, so, you know, gold rush goes pretty good. My main genre? I don't know. Uh, my genre? I, I don't... Uh. I'd say electro, like electro house. I like all types of music, but uh, I'd have to say like my genre, I guess, would be like a electro dub style, I guess. Um, I don't know. It's really, it's really broad. We kind of play all kinds of music, so... You know, I like I like the dub side of the music, but I like the electro, the underground kind of vibe. But uh, that's the kind of vibe I'm going for, I guess. It ranges from uh, like hip hop to to dubstep. You know, like everything in between. There, I play personally like uh, classic house, um, electro house, hard electro, um, a little bit of dubstep. You know, uh, I think everyone likes this type of music. Personally, I mean, not a lot of people have heard about it, so maybe that doesn't help them. But uh, I remember the first time I heard like dubstep or something like that, I, I lost my mind, you know. And electro, you know, everyone hears a little bit of electro now and then, but both of them combined together is just like it's a, it's not a whole new thing. It's like it's been done, but like I don't know, it's good stuff. It's good stuff for sure. It just kind of like pumps you up for the day, you know. It's got a, a faster beat. It's just kind of. Uh... You know, energy, upbeat, and just energetic music. Listen to bumping your head in your car, nodding your head, walking down the street. The music's for everyone. It makes you want to dance. It's energetic. It's it's loud. It's got a lot of bass, but at the same time, it's something that you can just like get pumped up for the day to listen to. I'm working on some new tracks coming out pretty soon here. Uh, just gonna get them all together first, and then release them all at once. You know, hit you with a bang, a punch in the face kind of thing. Um, kick to the stomach. Uh, but besides that, uh, just chilling out, partying every day. Partying every day, actually. Party every day, yeah. Uh, I just got laid off of carpentry because our economy is kind of, uh, it's getting back together, I guess. But uh, hopefully this music thing works out soon. If it doesn't, then uh, Fort Mac will come. But uh, I don't know, what have you been up to? I would say the same thing music, trying to make music pretty much. Yeah. Uh, I've been working while I'm out of school. I uh, did two years in college, and now I'm just trying to make some money to pay off some student loans, and uh, hopefully my music will, will eventually be paying the bills. So uh, I've been working on producing tracks, and I've uh, really got to get a start on getting my name out. Right now, uh, I would say dubstep is killing dance floors right now. Besides the top 40 Lady Gaga, just kidding. But uh, I would say dubstep is killing it right now, for sure. And dirty French electro, also. Uh, French electro house is, uh, well, to give the best example, Daft Punk. Um, it's just got a very distinct style. They use a lot more uh, like synth sounds and a lot more melodic chords. And uh, so it'll start out, you know, with a beat or a bass line. It'll start out with, um, you know, some kind of piano riff, and it just kind of kind of builds. Most French electro, uh, it can be really busy, or it can be really minimal. It just, uh, it's almost like a, like a set formula. It'll be like uh, the first part of the track, and it'll do a big lead up, and then uh, instead of a drop, and like, a huge bass line, like the uh, like North American style, like dubstep style, like, uh, I'd say the French electro house would just like go into like an organ solo. Every artist has their own ideas, but we all like to reach out and grab some. There's, you know, the the wobbly bass lines with the, you know, the faster beats. French electro is a genre that I just think influences a lot of uh, a lot of electronic music, and even traditionally, like it goes back to uh, goes back to European electronic music. Like it started in 
in 67, when the Beatles released Sgt. Pepper's and the Hearts Club Band, Kraftwerk came up with the first industrial uh, album. You know, like they, they were just breaking on the scene with industrial music. And that was something that nobody really heard before. It was all, you know, really hard, like factory-like sounds, really, really steely kind of sounds, but with, uh, with like synthesizers thrown in. Best show I've done? Um. <laughs> Best show we've done so far. Um, uh, wild and crazy. <laughs> like, like, I've, I don't know if it's appropriate to have them. I guess if you mean best in terms of, of how many people, um, I would have to say the last house party we played this summer, uh, probably late August. I can't remember the exact date. This house party we threw a while ago, actually. It's a really good house party. We just showed up with all our equipment and had some big speakers, and we just went to, uh, it's down by a Kingsway Garden Mall there. And it was just my buddy, he's like, yeah, we're having throwing a party tonight. And we went down there, checked it out, and uh, ended up being like 400 kids there. Like, everyone in the house was dancing. The backyard was packed. Front yard was packed. And it was me, 780 Sound, well, Cod, and uh, my buddy Dennis on this beat machine. And we were just gave it all night. And it was just crazy. Best night ever. It was at our friend Tyler's house. It had to have been late August. We had planned it to be uh, a pool party, actually. And, uh... Or no, sorry, this one was an eviction party. And so we had invited somewhere around 1,100 people. And uh, <laughs> by the end of the night, around 400 people ended up coming through the house. There's something like five cop cars, a police oh, van, that's pretty crazy. And two ambulances, air one overhead. It was, it was too big. It was too big of a house party, but it was definitely probably one of our bigger shows in terms of people. I think our biggest show in terms of importance uh for me temple was a a big show that was kind of uh not a letdown but just was not what i expected we got there too early there wasn't a lot of people but we ended up playing uh the temple which is a really good spot for local djs definitely got our name out in edmonton pretty quick i mean yeah. from all the fans to all the haters i mean i love haters so yeah, keep hating. If you're not gonna be a fan, just hate. Exactly. You know, just don't you listen know. to my music and be like, oh, just talk about us. You know, hate it. Talk about us if we're bad. You know, if you think we're bad, talk about us if you think you're good. If you think we're good, you know, we're just yeah. you know, anything is publicity, right? Exactly. So, the biggest show that we're gonna play coming up, I would say it's got to be this one. Part of this show coming up with you guys, the Common Ground show, it's gonna be pretty big. Yeah. <laughs>